Hi guys, it's Mandy with Sweet Home Soaps, and I just wanted to show you an updated procedure of how I mix my live solution using aloe, sugar, citric acid, um, silk, and that's all. Um, because when I use my aloe that's at room temp, I tend to get volcanoes or overflows or big reactions. So I've started freezing some of my aloe to use um, when I mix my solution. So let's begin. Let me turn you down so you can see. Okay, first I've got my silk that I tear into little smaller bits. And I measure out the amount I need. Need about that much. Okay, and then I'm going to put some aloe ice in here. And I'll top it off with a little bit of liquid. Okay. In here, uh, I have pre-measured my um, sugar and citric acid in with a little bit of my aloe from my life solution. So now I just um, add my pre-measured in lye and um, I'm wearing my eye protection and um, my sleeves just in case but I've already done several of these and I've had no problems whatsoever so I'm going to add in about half of it and you can hear it kind of make a sound, but it doesn't bubble up, which is what I was experiencing last time. And the silk tends to want to float to the top, but it does eventually um, dissolve. And whatever doesn't dissolve, I just strain out when I add my lye solution to my oils. So I just stir until it's all, no lye crystals remain. And then I add in the rest. Unlike with milks, when you use lye as your, uh, or when you use aloe as your liquid for your lye solution, you don't have to freeze it. Um, and you don't have to add it slowly. I'm only doing that, um, freezing it and adding slowly because I have citric acid already dissolved in here. Um, I have found out that if my al my aloe solution is room temp or um, you know somewhere around room temp and I add in my lye it gets super duper hot um, like 250 degrees so we're at 206 which is fine um, I don't I don't get any, any kind of reaction from that temperature, but at 250, it gets violent, um, and, which is dangerous. So this is now, all the lye is uh, dissolved. Let me just scrape out the rest of this container. I don't, not much left. And I do prefer to um, measure out my lye in a separate container and just pour it in. That way I don't accidentally over pour. Because if I over pour it in the separate container, um, it's super easy to uh, just remove what I've over poured. That's that. And now, yep, they're all, it's all, all dissolved. And I'll show you one of the first ones I did from this session, and you can see um, what it looks like after it has sat about 10 minutes. I believe this is the first one I did. Yeah. And there's 
there's a little bit of the silk that hasn't dissolved just yet but as I stir it in it's breaking apart so and all that debris in there is just extra little bits from the silk because um, it is a raw mulberry silk and there are little bits of organic matter like um, straw and whatnot but that's why I strain it any little bit of silk that has not dissolved by the time I go to use this solution will get strained all right and that's that no volcanoes no violent reactions just um, happy lye solution and it's already cooled down to 167 so that's amazing um, I'm going to cap these and um, use them probably tomorrow. I'll use at least one or two of them tomorrow. I'll try trying to get all my Christmas production uh, accomplished um, in the middle of life. So thanks for watching. Bye.